Stories helped design this project. Partnerships built it. The project, improving transport services in GET areas, used human-centered design to understand user needs and design appropriate interventions. Bjambadorsh's story, filmed before the project started, told us that designs cannot ignore those who travel differently. <laughs> Using Bjambadorsh's story, discussions with other users, and technical review, we built new ramps in strategic places for safety and access. The Public Transport Department ensured accessible low-floor buses with ramps would be used on the Chingletay Corridor to aid in mobility. Before the project started, Seren Badam's stories and stakeholder consultations emphasized that commuters deserve safer driving practices, accurate information, and a way to easily report incidents. <laughs> From Tserebadam's stories and other user insights, we developed a customer feedback system for commuters to report issues. Bus schedules and other information are visibly displayed in new bus stops. Bus drivers were trained in safe driving and customer service. CCTV cameras inside buses monitor driver and passenger behavior for improved commuting experiences. Uzmi's stories highlighted that infrastructure must accommodate the needs of vulnerable road users across seasons. <laughs> These stories with road safety auditing and information from the traffic police helped identify key areas to add speed bumps, pedestrian crossings, and stairs. We installed bus shelters for weather protection, comfort, and information. Infrastructure design removed blind spots, enforced security, and prevent crime. Throughout the project, we engaged with civil society and established a community council for sustainable change. Infrastructure built. Systems installed. Enforcement in place driver behavior improved. Community mobilized. Stories helped design this project. Partnerships built it. With ADB, JFPR, and EAKPF support, the local government and community are taking ownership of people's safe and inclusive mobility.